Hello and welcome again. It's Andy of Andy Bower Fishing. I hope you're all well and many thanks for following me. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Um, just in the little thing below, you'll see a little subscribe button. By all means, just click on it, follow. And this time, if you want to, make a few comments, keep an eye on me, watch what I'm doing. Uh, back down at West Bexington, which uh, the wind was a little bit uh, stronger than I thought. It's coming in from the sea, just over on the left hand side. It's coming in that way. Um, so I've got my tent all set up, or beach buddy as they say. And I've got a couple of rods out already. Hopefully today, we're going to show you a few things regarding mackerel fishing. A bit of, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed play. It's mid to late August now, and um, now's the time where you might start seeing some uh, salt. Might do. Uh, but uh, we're getting to the point of the year where I think it's the best fishing we've had. So, personally, I think it's the best time uh, between now and perhaps the end of September. So, you've got about six weeks. But uh, please follow me, like me, share me, and um, hopefully I'll show you some fish a little bit, a little bit later on. Can you get my words out today? So uh, happy days. So thanks ever so much. I will see you all soon, hopefully with some fish. little white bait just getting put, pushed up on the beach. Go for them. See if a bass or mackerel chase them. So a big wave just washed up. Lots of little white bait. And I picked up a handful on the beach. Good sign. There's definitely predators around. And these are little white bait. So um, hopefully some mackerel around, maybe there's a bass around or something like that, but it uh, took me a couple of minutes. That little kitty there is picking a few up. I've cast one in really short with a couple of white bait on it, so see what happens, isn't it? Well, I get this on my head. A load of white bait just got washed up. So I thought I'll put some feathers on quickly. And it feels like I've got a mackerel here. But I'm hoping in a minute, I'm gonna put a um, plug on. Here we go, mackerel. Oh, happy days. Because the white bait um, got washed up, that's why I decided to stick the feathers on quickly. What a lovely evening. As I mentioned earlier, it's been hard, hard going. Crab activity is immense. Varying, varying my distances in terms of casting. So not casting the same place all the time. The baits I'm putting on bigger, smaller. Moving the baits. So it's uh, hard. 
We've had a couple of mackerel and uh, a handful of white bait which uh, got washed up. I was thinking we're going tomorrow as well, but uh, I don't think I'm going to come back here tomorrow. See the baits are gone, stripped again. That's been out 15 minutes. That bait. You can tell it's crabs. When I mean crabs, spider crabs. I don't know if you can see in the um, in the light there. The, the little nick in the line just up here. Problem is, it destroys your hook lengths. More often than not, you lose um, a hook. So it's hard going, really hard going. There must be absolutely millions, millions and millions of them. Setting's lovely, isn't it? One for the camera, hopefully we don't snap off. proving to be a lot more difficult than what I thought today. Um, the baits are getting absolutely stripped really, really fast uh, from the crabs. There must be absolutely millions of crabs. And I know at certain times of the year, the spider crab um, population down here is pretty immense. Um, I'm putting baits out every 10 to 15 minutes and they're coming back in pretty much stripped. A couple of the hooks are gone as well. So it's been really tough, really tough. Really nice bit of tide. We've got a lovely um, bend in the rods with the tide. When I say the tide, although the, tide, the water's there and you can see it and all the rest of it, as the tide comes in, sometimes on big tides you get a, a bit of tidal pull. And, uh, so I've got a nice bit of tide pull, which I always like when it's fishing. But those spider crabs are proving very tough. I've put on bigger baits. I've got I've got um, half mackerel baits, bigger worm baits, but it's really really hard work. So uh, I'm going to keep fishing. High tides in about half an hour. I've had a couple of mackerel. There's been a few white bait washed up, but uh, it's it's a lovely setting. If anything, it's nice, lovely fresh air. Hopefully, I mean hopefully. I'll get you some fish. We've just wound in the tiniest of gurnards. It's a tub gurnard. Literally just pulled him in, so I'm not going to hang about too much because uh, I want to get him back. So, a little tub gurnard. Let's get him back in the water. Go on, little fishy. Oh. There we go. Off he goes.
it's an 80 pound pulley rig, five ounce gripper, half a side of mackerel and a whole squid wrapped up. Um, don't know what else to try because the, the crabs are just having it. So, hopefully when the crabs are, uh, when it goes dark, it's fish. I tied in about 10 minutes. Life could be a lot worse, couldn't it? Seeing that sun, sunset go down. I think we're very lucky. Pretty much done and dusted. It is literally just there and off he goes. Night night Mr. Sun. <laughs> Something's been messing around with this right hand rod for a bit. I've left it for a while just in case. Um, when I say left it for a while, sometimes you leave them long enough. If it's a face or a sole, you never know but uh, I'm not too sure. So I'm going to literally um, call it a day very shortly. Um, the beach has started to empty a little bit. Gernard saved me a little bit. We've had, uh, or I've had, tub Gernard, a couple of mackerel, uh, a handful of white, um, white bait. But uh, I think I've, uh, I think I've done my time here today. If I fished on into darkness, I think I'll probably have a few pout, maybe a few dogs. But uh, the time's now at nine o'clock. I've got an hour of drive to go back, so. Wishful thinking, I think. No, well, I think that's uh, I think that's me coming to an end 
thanks ever so much for watching again um, please like and subscribe let's keep this journey going i really appreciate it hey fishing's a game of two halves at times isn't it you know, sometimes you can catch a few fish sometimes you can't but uh, there we go so thanks once again i'll see you all soon well the last wind in i saw a couple of little nibbles there's a very very small whiting there bait's almost as big as that and a little pouting as well so is that that's a pout and the whiting power all year round whiting normally come in the um, in the winter but a pout and a whiting lovely little colors I'll get them off the hooks and um, chuck them back so it wasn't a uh, disaster after all